Centralia, Pennsylvania is one of the most famous abandoned towns in the world. On May 27, 1962, the coal vein beneath the town was accidentally set on fire while attempting to burn away some of the town's landfill. Once the fire had spread underground, it was too expensive for the small town to put out, so they decided to just let it burn. When sinkholes started opening up in people's backyards in the early 80s, the majority of the town voted to accept a government buyout and all but a few left. To this day, some holdouts still refuse to leave. Though most have left, you will still find reminders of the town that was. The roads leading off the main highway still describe the places where houses once stood, though trees have taken over most of the land. You can still see cement driveways, though they lead to no house. The town does have a new highway, though. It circumvents the old one because, like many areas of Centralia, the ground became dangerously unstable. Smoking fissures now scar the old asphalt, and the earth is warm like a newly cooled lava field, constantly reminding one of what lies beneath. My work pairs unfortunate locations with looming shadows of technology. I refer to them as aspirational technologies because they represent a future that could have been and a future that could still be. If we can go to the moon in under 10 years with technology that is dwarfed in complexity by a smartphone of today, then we can accomplish anything no matter how dire a situation we find ourselves in. Locations like Centralia deserve a portrait, because we need to remember how easy it is to make a complete mess of things despite all of our progress. At the same time, I am an unashamed optimist and futurist. I believe the potential of our culture and species is infinitely exciting, and that our ingenuity will ultimately make up for any deficit in foresight along the way.
And the act of moving onward means we, we pass these signposts. One of them was first leaving Earth. The next one is hanging out on the moon. What's next? The planets. Onward to the edge. We're moving onward to the edge. Here we are together. This fragile world. This fragile world. Onward to the edge. We're moving onward to the edge. Here we are together. This fragile world. We're not the only world to think about. We're not the only world to think about. We're, we're think about worlds unnumbered. The laws of nature create vastly different worlds with the tiniest of changes. Tiniest of changes. When I reach for the edge of the universe, I do so knowing that along some paths of cosmic discovery, there are times when, at least for now, one must be content to love the questions themselves.